Hello and welcome to Carwali. In this week, we're bringing you something new, which is a weekly roundup. In our weekly roundup, we'll be telling you everything that happened in the last one week in the auto world. And from the next episode onwards, we'll also be answering all your auto-related questions that you can leave in the comment section below or on any of our social media channels. Before we begin, here's a little reminder. Are you enjoying the content on our channel? Then do hit those like, share and subscribe buttons and also that bell icon to be notified the instant we put out a new video. First up on our weekly roundup is something unique. Yes, we are talking about the just completed uh, Bharat Mobility Expo that happened in Delhi. This is the first ever Bharat Mobility Expo and here are some of the top highlights that we saw at the Expo. First up on our list from the cars that we saw at the Bharat Mobility Expo is the Tata Curve uh, Coupe SUV and uh, in a diesel form no less. The Tata Curve that uh, you know, Tata had on display at the Expo was in its 99% production ready form though Tata says it's a concept but you can take one look at it and figure out that it's a production ready vehicle and this is most evident in the face, the profile, the design of the wheels and even the shape of the tail lamp which is now common across all the Tata vehicles. Inside, there are quite a few elements that give you an idea of where the car is going. It looks like a combination of what you've got on the Nexon facelift and the Harrier and Safari facelift. Given that this car will sit in the middle, it's a mix of both. Now, most importantly, Tata revealed at the Expo that this is a diesel-powered curve and the diesel engine in question is Tata's 1.5-litre diesel producing 113 bhp and 260 nm of torque. This is the same engine that's present in the Nexon compact SUV and uh, Tata has officially said that the curve will be offered with a 6-speed manual and in the Nexon, this engine is also offered with a 6-speed AMT. But given that this car is slightly higher in terms of pricing and position, we expect that Tata will for the first time offer this engine with the 6-speed torque converter automatic from the Harrier or Safari. I mean, it will raise the price a bit, but given its segment position, we expect that this transition will happen. The Tata curve is expected to arrive in the first half of this financial year and is expected to be priced in the range of Rs 15 lakh to Rs 20 lakh. Next up on the list is again Tata and this time with a much anticipated vehicle. Yes, we are talking about the Nexon CNG in this case. The car had been kind of expected for a while given that the previous iterations of the Nexon didn't have a CNG option and that Tata had been going big with CNGs. In this case, uh, you know, the car that they showed at the Expo was a top spec model but we expect the CNG option to be offered across a number of versions as has been the case with no, the other Tata CNG vehicles. This being a fully loaded CNG vehicle, it'll get all the features like, you know, the 360 degree camera, wireless charging, dual digital displays, ventilated seats, illuminated logo on the steering wheel. And in this case, uh, it will use Tata's proprietary twin cylinder technology. That means, uh, you know, the cylinders have been split into two pieces, placed lower in the car with the spare tire underneath, giving you additional boot space. The standard Nexon has a boot space of around 432 litres, while this one with the tanks now stands at 230 litres. We expect uh, this CNG Nexon to arrive uh, you know, a little bit after the curve is launched with a, a premium of around 80,000 to rupees 1 lakh over its standard petrol counterpart. The petrol engine of course in question is Tata's 1.2 litre turbo petrol and this will be the first turbo petrol CNG uh, to be present in India. That's Tata uh, making significant leaps on two fronts. It's going to have an automatic CNG and a turbo petrol CNG. Tata has not revealed output figures for this turbo petrol engine, but we expect it to be around 10 bhp and around 15 to 20 nm of torque lesser than its standard petrol counterpart. Third on our list will be the Skoda ENIAC EV. This will be Skoda's first EV for India and will come via the CBU route and be joined by its sister car, the Volkswagen ID GTX. Now, in terms of specs, we expect the India spec ENIAC to be offered with all-wheel drive, all the bells and whistles that Skoda has for the ENIAC, as well as a range of around 500 kilometers. Pricing, we expect it to be around 60 lakhs, given that it will be a CBU. 
fourth car on our list is a biogas compatible Maruti Suzuki Brezza that was on display at the expo. Now, this is essentially a CNG version of the Brezza that was showcased at last year's Auto Expo and then launched uh, halfway through 2023. Now, uh, it runs the same 1.5 litre uh, CNG compatible petrol engine and even uses the same CNG tank. Maruti Suzuki is investing heavily in biogas, seeing great potential for this form of fuel and uh, in interactions with Carvale has stated that uh, the mechanisms and systems required to use biogas is compatible with the current CNG environment and it's just a matter of the technology taking shape and going into production. No timeline has been given for this biogas version of the Brezza when it will be launched or what variants it will be offered but the car that was on display at the expo was once again a top spec model which means that uh, there will be at least one version that will come with all the bells and whistles and with biogas power. Now, the CNG compatible engine, which we said is Maruti's 1.5 litre petrol uh, in uh, CNG output produces 87 bhp and 121 nm of torque. We expect that the engine, uh, you know, when running on biogas, will offer the same kind of output. The only transmission on offer will be a 5 speed manual. And like the petrol in CNG, we expect a premium of around Rs 80,000 to a lakh over the standard petrol models. Now, uh, like we said, Maruti Suzuki has not officially confirmed when the car will be launched, but we expect uh, in the latter half of uh, 2024. The final vehicle that was highlight on our list from the Bharat Mobility Expo is a flex fuel version of the Mahindra XUV 300. Now, there are not many details of this flex fuel XUV 300 apart from a few technical specifications and what we could see at the expo. The car is running Mahindra's 1.2 litre turbo petrol, uh, producing around 109 bhp and just little over 200 nm of torque, and only available with a manual gearbox. Now, the other thing to notice here is that the car that's on display is a pre facelift XUV 300. That means that by the time Mahindra launches this car, we expect that it will be a flex fuel version of the facelifted XUV 300 that's expected to come in the middle of this year. Moving on from the Bharat Mobility Expo, the other big highlight of the week was that the patent drawing for the Hyundai Creta N-Line has been leaked. Of course, the car has also been leaked in real life and we have carried the stories, links to which are in the description below. Now, the patent drawings reveal uh, the exterior design of the vehicle, but looking inside the cabin, and seeing you know, the venue end line and the i20 end line, we get an idea of what to expect from the car. The major highlight, of course, will be that this car will be running the 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine with both an automatic transmission as well as a six speed manual. It will, of course, be offered in the N8 and a new top spec N10 variant that will get all the bells and whistles, including level two ADAS that Hyundai offers with the Creta. We expect it to be one of the big launches of Hyundai for the next financial year and should be here by around mid-April with a price increase of around 1 to 1.5 lakhs over the top spec models of the standard Creta. One of the most hotly anticipated cars, the five-door Mahindra Thar, has been spied again last week and these spy images reveal shots of the interior. Now, we know for a fact that because it is based on the three-door Thar, uh, it will carry over much of the interiors, but in an upgraded form, which means uh, new dual digital screens, a new kind of steering wheel, a new center console, and even a new design for the seats. The uh, Given the kind of rugged appeal that the three-door Thar has, we expect a five-door one to have a more city-like appeal, you know, uh, appeal to more urban buyers, given its added practicality of having two more doors at the back and being longer. It will of course use the same powertrains, 2 litre petrol, 2.2 litre diesel. Both will get manual and automatic transmission. Both will also get all wheel drive. The car is expected to be uh, Mahindra's major highlight for this year. And uh, you know, based on popular public opinion, we hope that Mahindra will call it the Armada, reviving one of its most popular brand names of the 90s and early 2000s. The final highlight for the week was from Mercedes-Benz, where it launched a facelifted version of the GLE 53 AMG and the GLA Compact SUV. Now, the GLA Compact SUV, this is a midlife facelift and also marks 10 years of the GLA being sold in India. 
It can be had in both petrol and diesel power and we have driven a car, link to which is in the description below. The GLE 53 is one of uh, Mercedes-Benz's more entry-level uh, AMG spec performance vehicles and is priced at Rs 1.85 crores with all the usual uh, you know uh, AMG bits and bobs that make the car that special. It is of course a coupe SUV which means that it's going to be unique looking. We have detailed both the GLE and the GLA and you can find links to stories and our video in the description below. So what do you think of our weekly roundup? Did we miss anything? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, like we said, if you have any automotive related questions, we'll be answering them in future episodes. So you can either leave your queries in the comment section below or on any of our social media channels. Also, once again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified the instant we put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.